Bum, bum. Bum. And then we'll describe the blue baby. This character sucks. Ooh. I love this item, but it's it never works for me, man. All right, let's roll with it. It's a uh, Hey McClary. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But basically, it turns your tears into this, which is sick as hell. But the problem is it does, like, zero damage. <laughs> It, I, I love it. I love how it changes your tears, but it does like nothing. It, 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 it's so bad Apparently well, it, it's okay. So yeah blue baby sucks um, He starts with three soul hearts in the top left and you can never get normal hearts He can never get like red hearts, which means you have to rely on soul hearts and you have to rely on black hearts He's also he also starts with a poop which is the, our item in the top left. We love it, danger! What's up? Uh, let me get through the intro and then I will thank the two recent subscribers. All right, so let me describe this character and then we'll talk about the, we'll thank the subscribers. Um, so yeah, he starts with the poop, which is a one charge item. Every, every room we can drop a poop down and destroy it to try and get some item. Terrible item. Again, Okay, cool. Uh, again, they just, they didn't do this character justice. I don't understand the point. He has, like, I guess a little bit higher damage? But that doesn't matter. He, he's terrible. Um, he can't get red heart. You can't see my hearts right now. But he can't get red hearts. He can only have soul hearts. And he can only have, uh, get away from me. Black hearts. He can't get red hearts. Oh, that's a good drop. Okay. Yeah, see, that's a soul heart. So we can get those. We're gonna plop the poop, the poop down. We're gonna plop the poop down every room. Just to see if we get a get lucky with an item, and that's basically it. Um, he's kind of just a middle of the ground character, middle of the road character. I almost damaged myself on the fire like an absolute fool. See, this this red heart is useless on this guy. He can't get red hearts, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we're gonna fight our first boss real quick, and then oh god, get up, get away! What the heck? See, this this item is so cool. But it just doesn't deal enough damage. And we have the Curse of the Unknown or whatever, so we can't see, like, what our health is right now. But it should be, like, two and a half, I think. Two and a half soul hearts. Okay, first boss. Pin. Easy peasy. We're gonna go against the wall, and as soon as he comes out, we're just gonna smack him in the face. Just the damage doesn't deal anything. Then we're gonna hit him when he comes out like this. Just watch out for his big, big explodey blast. And when he lands, he drops a bunch of stuff. Pin, you ain't shit, dude. Pin, come back when you work out a bit. Are you serious? That's fine. Okay, I need to be nice. I need to be nice. I need to be nice. We get rewarded when we're nice. And we don't expect the reward. We just hope that we, you know, hope that things balance out. Uh, it's an HP up. And so it's kind of worse on the blue baby because you don't get a heart container that you can refill if you get damage. You just get, like, another soul heart. So, okay. That's fine. Let's plop down. Okay. Um... Now, this is too loud. Uh, let me know if this is too loud, because Isaac is so loud. I have to, like, reduce the volume by, like, 10 decibels. First of all, Neo X Bahamut, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome into the stream. And we laugh at danger. Thank you for the 27 months. Who says, hey, bud, I got to chill for a bit, finally. Yeah, we're streaming super early today. Welcome in, we laugh at danger. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. Why does it feel like you get a curse every other reset? I swear I don't get cursed that much. Uh, we're on hard mode. I always play on hard mode. Um, I always play on hard mode or greedier mode if we're going for greedier. Uh, because, you know, you have to do it for the completion marks anyway. So might as well just... There, there's no reason to ever play on normal if you're competent at the game. Or if you played a lot. Because, you know, you're going to... If you want all the unlocks and achievements, you're eventually going to have to beat everything on hard. So, uh, on hard mode... Like, every enemy is a champion, which is when they're, like, a different color than they normally are. Which means they deal a full heart of contact damage to you. Um, and then also they have a bunch of different little properties as well. If we get the petrified poop trinket, that would be pretty good. Because that increases drops from poops. It's pretty good on the blue baby. But we'll see. Yeah, we need damage because this item is cool, but it just it doesn't it doesn't fly with the damage. Like it's gonna fall off super hard. So any damage ups would be well appreciated. Okay, that's a free coin over there. Bum, 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 bum. 
Uh, we have one bomb, but we want to save it for any tinted rocks, especially on this character. There's our item room. Damage, 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 damage. Give me that damage! Dad's key, huh? Okay. Alright. Okay. For anybody that saw that insane run um, that we had, it was like literally the luckiest. If you look on YouTube, it's called like the luckiest, craziest run I've ever had because it was. The reason it was so lucky is because like at the end, we needed to get... It was on the Lost, I think, and we needed to get um, Dad's Key to fight the final boss, which was like... And then we got it. It was such a random drop, and we actually got it. And I was like, what the hell? Not expecting that at all. So... What Dad's Key does is it lets us get to one of the bosses we need to beat on this guy without having to worry about angel rooms. It's just kind of guaranteed now that we can get it. Now, that's a tinted rock. See, it's a different color, and there's an X on it. So we're going to blow it up, get some soul hearts. Or a bomb and a key. Okay, we got our bomb back in. We got a key. That's all right. That's something. Going to plop the poop down. Yeah, well, that's the strat for the blue baby. <laughs> just what you got to do. This game looks fun. It is fun. Highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, we have another curse, and in, in the top right, we can't see where we're going, which, yeah. When you play on hard difficulty, you get a curse pretty much every single floor. At least I do. My luck is... is so I, I feel like my luck is, like, 80% of the time, it's terrible. But 20% of the time, it's very, 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 very good, as we've seen with a couple of runs. All right, our damage isn't too bad. Uh, so yeah, Dad's Key opens up any room, uh, and it's only a two charge. You can see in the top left it has two segments. Uh, so it's good for getting into shops for free. Uh, but at the very end of the run, we can get into Mega Satan's room. No matter what, which is awesome. What's up, Chopper Lewis? You love the poop sound effect? Yeah, I wish this guy started with any other, literally any other item. Second boss, The Haunt. Okay, so The Haunt is going to have one of these little guys come out. And then as soon as we kill him, the other two are going to come out. And these guys are little fuckers. They'll hit you very, very easily. And we don't want to get hit. Well, actually, it's fine. The one good thing about Blue Baby is that since he doesn't have red heart containers, you're basically guaranteed a devil deal on the second floor. So that is good. Uh, we're going to try to blow up the TNT when he's near it. And good night, Haunt. Speed up. Not great. We want anything else, really. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. So if you don't have red hearts, uh, usually when you take a devil deal, you exchange one or two red heart containers for, like, an item. You're giving your life for an item. But when you're playing with soul hearts, um, it costs three. This item right here is one of the most overpowered items. But it's going to take me down to one HP. But fuck it. Brimstone, Blood Laser Barrage. Okay. Oh! Now that I like. I didn't think of the combo with this thing. Ooh. Now that I can dig. Now that I can dig. Okay, so yeah, since we got the Halicum, whatever the heck it's called, the little blood drop thing... But normally when you get brimstone, you charge a laser, and then it like it does like a full screen laser. But now since we have that in conjunction with the, the first item we got, it does that. What the fuck? That is such a weird combo. Oh god. Alright, we need to survive because this is too cool of a run to lose. I need HP stat now. If we ever get hit by oh see th the problem is that it's just random though. The problem is it's just random. Okay, I need to play very carefully. I do not want to lose this run now. Um, we could blow up skulls for a chance at... Uh, could blow up skulls for a chance... At black, black hearts. Okay, I just need to be very careful. This is such a weird item combo. I really need HP. What's our best way? I mean, the shot most likely? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Ooh, there's a soul heart. Woo! Okay. Okay. Remember, we can't get red hearts at all. So we have to play very carefully. Um, let's go ahead and use Dad's key to save ourselves a key. Open up that. Loki's horns? 
Now that's exciting too. Okay, why not? <laughs> Loki's horns makes you shoot tears in a cross pattern. Which mean, but it has a chance to do that. So we could have a chance to shoot four globules out that do, that do like four lasers each. This might be another YouTube upload. Man, <laughs> these runs are fucking crazy. Oh, bu -bu 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 okay, I just need to be really careful. I need to not be hasty, basically. This run is too cool to give up now. Okay, give me HP, please. There's our shop. And ba -ba 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 -ba. No! Um, okay, we're gonna use Dad's key to go into the shop, and we wanna hope for a soul heart here. Shit. No soul hearts. If we get three more coins, we can get Pandora. No, we need Dad's key. Damn, okay. Well, we didn't waste a key there, so that's fine. Thanks for the bitch, y'all. Since I beat Mom, I haven't been able to beat any more runs. Officially hit 10 hours in game, and my streak is now negative 70. Yikes. <laughs> Uh, Isaac takes a long time to get good at. Don't worry about it. Just keep practicing. You'll get there. I've put like a hundred... Oh, see, there it is. That's Loki's hordes. I've put about a hundred thousand hours into this game, so... It takes a lot of time. Okay, I need HP, man. HP, please. Our, our, we're like basically the equivalent of a gigantic glass cannon at the moment. Chad? Ugh. Okay, not that type of HP. Chad drops little Chad, which is fucking useless on this character. God, I hate... Remove Chad. Remove Chad. Just take him out of the game. Whenever you fight Chad, you're guaranteed to get little Chad, and he drops red heart pickups. So many characters, that's 100% useless. Just take Chad out of the game. No, 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 no. I do not want to lose this run. It's too cool. I need HP though. You got it. You got it. You got to meet me halfway, game. Come on. You gave me all the damage. All I'm asking for is like one or two. <sighs> okay. Gonna bomb that. I, 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 I realized that was gonna happen as soon as I did that. Shit. Because if you bomb a rock like this, normally it makes the <sighs> normally it makes the bridge, and then you can go get the stuff. But we need to actually save our bomb for any tinted rocks. That's what we need to do. Also, we could get super lucky with a soul heart from a poop. If you want to be really nice, that'd be awesome. That'd be really cool, man. That'd be really, really, really cool. If you want to give me... Okay, that's fine. All right, I just have to play every room like mega safe. Yeah, see, that's Loki's hordes. It has a chance to shoot four at once, and then it just fills the room with lasers. Yen's going insane in the other room. Oh, boy. This is like one of the coolest combinations I've ever gotten. I really, really, really need health so we can keep it going. Come on, man. Okay, that's a lucky penny. Luck goes up. That's pretty good. I think luck determines how often Loki's horns go off. So not bad. Yeah, we got two pretty great items back, you know, back to back. I just need to not get hit. Man, if we get put Oh shit. This is bad. If we get pajamas If we get pajamas from a boss drop, I will go insane. I will go insane. This is go If we get pajamas, PJs. This is going up on YouTube instantly. I will flip my lid if pajamas drops as an item. I will absolutely flip my lid. Um, that's a golden bomb, so we'll have unlimited bombs, but... Okay, we'll come back for that. Might not be worth a bomb right now. Should we use Dad's key? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's really good. Spider bite. It's gonna like slow things that we hit. Hopefully with the uh, brimstone bra. Okay, this is so strong, but I need HP bad. This is like an incredibly strong fucking start. All I need is a soul heart, man. What does this do? 
I gotta look what that thing does because I forget. Hold on. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Soul Isaac. Yen, are you okay? Yen's fl like flipping around. Spawns a familiar that floats slowly around the room and on a zigzag pattern similar to the peeper fire spectral and homing tears that deal 3.5 damage. Yeah, I thought it was like a familiar type thing. Okay. That might screw me over, actually. Yeah, I didn't want to pick that up, actually. Shit. Because if it kills something that explodes near me without me realizing, well, goodbye hell. Hey, welcome back, Watari. Uh, it's going crazy. I just need to be very careful. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get that golden bomb. I should have done that before I got the other, before I used the other bomb. So we'll put that there. Makes a bridge. Ooh, and we're lucky because that has the secret room, which gives us more bombs. Very nice. Uh, now we're going to this. Here's a little trick that you can do. Watch this. You can up, 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 up. drop a bomb and then kick it. Two of clubs is going to double our bombs up to six. I'm going to go ahead and use it. The lovers is useless. It spawns red hearts. We have unlimited bombs for this floor now. So what's this? <gasps> oh, yes. The luck. Okay. The Hierophant gives you two soul hearts. That was the best card that could have been. That was the literal best card that could have been. Okay, greed, get fucked, dude. I said get fucked. Whew, that was the... B oh, man. Okay, this run is insane once again. Once, once again. This streamer luck, dude. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. If I've learned a lesson... Re if I've learned a lesson recently... Jesus, look at that. <laughs> we're on, like, floor two, and we're already doing shit like that. Plus, we have Dad's Key, so we can kill Mega Zane. Oh, my God. Easiest boss ever. Halo, yes, dude! All stat up, and another devil deal. We definitely don't want that. That's not worth the health. Oh my god, this run is insane. Insane in the membrane. Hey, see you later. We laugh at danger. Thanks again for resubbing and for all that you do, man. Have a great day at work. Okay, let's get lucky here with a black heart. What do you say? The world. Okay, the world shows you where everything is. All right. This is this run is okay. We want to go. We, basically, we want to go far with this run. This is this is an end 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 game end game build. So we want to go very far. Main issue is going to be our HP. Dad's key to open this. Do we take? Do we even take the risk? Little hush. Okay, that like he bounces. I just unlocked that. He like bounces around and does some shit. I don't even know. Kind of a kind of an okay item. Not really anything crazy. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this run is so crazy. Uh, Eve's lipstick. I just unlocked that too. Yeah, that increases the chance of black hearts dropping. That's very good. We want black hearts and we want soul hearts. That's pretty good on this character. Okay, what do you say? How about a black heart, huh? That's not a black heart, okay? That's a host. Silly game. The only problem with our build is that it's super duper random. It's super duper random. Okay, we want to go to the shop. We have a decent amount of money. Let's see where the shop is in the top right there. Stop crying. It'll all be over in a second if this just wants to... There, you, there we go. Okay, dad's key. Uh, another soul heart. Yes, please. Um, I'm not even gonna go for those. Uh, should I? Should we take a risk? No, I'm not gonna take a risk. I'm gonna re-roll and see if we get another soul heart. And we did. Freaking fantastic. Oh my god, we're building up our biggest weakness. I just need Spoonbender. Holy shit. Spoonbender gives you telekinetic, like, that would be... Ho <laughs> ho! Chef's kiss. Uh, what's up, blue-eyed mama? Welcome to the stream. Could have been Little Chub? I'd take Little Chub over that. Little Chad is totally useless on Blue Baby. You can't ever get red hearts. As far as I know, he's like literally 100% useless, right? Is there any use for Lil Chad? I'm sure there's like some uses, but they're not gonna be, you know. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. This is a room with a lot of hit scan type shit where you'll get hit instantly. So watch out, just play it safe. Oh my God, this run is beautiful. This run is so pretty, I love it. 
Oh, I've never gotten this combo. That's another lucky penny, too. I think, so we got Loki's Horns, with that, which has a chance to shoot things in a four-way burst. And usually stuff like that is dependent on luck. So the more luck we get, the more often that's going to happen. So getting luck is really good. Okay, next boss. Sister's Vis. More like Sister's Pissed. Good night. Eshim 1995 thanks for the follow. Okay, what is this? Pentagram damage up. Oh, hell yes. Thank you very much. Uh, we can't see what these devil deals are, so we're going to say, No, thank you, Mr. Devil. You did help me, and I appreciate that. But I can't see what that is, and it could totally ruin the run. So bye-bye now. How many... Have we had our curse literally every damn floor? I swear to God, man. The curses general... I don't even like the curses on any level. I feel like they should just be taken out, or at least be, like, super-duper reduced, because they're just not fun. They oftentimes just reduce the fun of the game. Um, I don't like the curses whatsoever! Okay. Like, just take the curses out, man. Like, like they, they just make you... The game lasts... So, the runs last so much longer because you don't know where you're going, or if it's Curse of the Maze, it'll, like, just move you to a random room. If it's Curse of the Unknown, you don't know what you're picking up. You don't know how much HP you have. Like, none of the curses are fun in any way, shape, or form. And I think even though they're supposed to be challenging, it's like... You know, it reduces the fun so much that I... Uh, seriously? How did you touch me? Dude, how are you alive? Ah, that's the only bad thing about this this build is that it's our shots are so random. Oop, there's a black heart. Okay, we should really be we should really be blowing up skulls because we have a higher chance. These guys are invisible. We have a higher we have a higher chance now to get uh black hearts from Eve's lipstick in the bottom left. Ooh, okay, okay. Come on, black hearts. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Getting pretty lucky already. Uh, we got a double key room. We have 14 keys, which means open up the double key room. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm not going to use the dice room. I always forget which, what the dice rooms do. We are good, though. Okay, we're going to drop a bomb here. And here. And here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This run is... This, run, this is everything you want out of a run. We are going far with this. We are going far with this. What's up, Snowy Starly? Little Chad into a devil room item. Oh yeah, sacrificial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So that's a that's a long shot getting that. <laughs> I have to pinch myself whenever we have one of these stream runs because I don't understand the luck. What the fuck is this? Every time I stream this game, what, what, what is this? That's a flat damage up by five. What, what, what's happening again? What is hap? I, I guess another Isaac run is being uploaded to YouTube because this is insanity. Insanity. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is insane. Okay, that was Max's head, and it gives you just a flat damage up. I think it's like, uh, it's a percentage, because it depends on... Did we... Did... Were we in this room? Why have I not seen all these black... These, these skulls? Okay, there's a chance to get a host enemy like that, or a... Oh, I hate this room. This room is so stupid. All... These, these, these blue things... Are not fair. Anyways, I'm complaining when we're on like an amazing run. Okay, no more complaining. Too much of that recently. Oh my god, this run is fantastic. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for Delirium, which is the hardest boss. Have we done Delirium on this stream yet? I don't know if we have or not. Uh, Dad's key, save a key. Yeah, why not? Even more damage and an HP up. Why not, dude? Why not? Even more damage and range. Sure. Well, all the stars are aligning. This is insane. This is insane. Um, okay, we'll take the eternal heart. Check out the shop. Uh, what does that give you? Oh, that item's crazy. It has a chance to, like, this is a new item. It has a chance to, like, make everything in a room free. But I don't think there's any real way we can use it. Instead, I'll just grab whatever this is. And then I'll also grab the soul heart, so we have maximum health now. We would have had ma we would have had maximum health. And oh shit, dude! The, the boss rush. Damn, I'm an idiot. I was going way too slow. Uh, we have 30 seconds to beat mom. Okay, I I'm gonna make a rush for it. She's right there. She's right there. We got 30. Get the fuck away from me! Are you serious? We got 20 seconds to beat this. 20 seconds. Fucking land! Come on. We fucking did it. Uh, where am I going? Um, 
Boss Rush, Mega Satan. Mega Satan's done because we have Dad's Key, so we can go there. And then Hush. We just got to get... Holy shit, the run. It's done. Okay, yeah, we get the Polaroid. Uh, we can't even check the Devil Deal because it'll reset the Boss Rush. Okay, this is Boss Rush. Tech Zero. What is Tech Zero? Oh, it adds lightning to your shots? Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Oh, dude, watch this shit. Things are about to be taken up to 11 now. Watch this fucking shit. Technology Zero. I don't even know if it, it probably doesn't do anything for this, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't think it does anything. Okay, this is Boss Rush. You have to get down here in, like, 20 minutes. We just made it by, like, by like 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, so now it's just a big old Boss Rush. I'll try to explain all this in a second. It, 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 there's a lot to explain. A lot to, uh, to uh, deconstruct here. But all you got to know is that we, we maxed out. This is a 10 out of 10 lucky run right now. This is a 10 out of 10 insane run. And I almost missed Boss Rush, which isn't the biggest deal. But since we haven't beaten it on this character, it would have been a big, big mistake. Oh, there we go. There, there it did the thing. Oh, my God. Goodbye, bloat. No, thank you. Yeah, this is boss rush. I don't remember how many bosses it actually spawns, but it's a lot. And they spawn one here and then one on the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's beautiful, man! I gotta take a screenshot when we get like a four bird. Okay, don't touch me. Don't touch me. There's Loki, we got his horns, which is why we can shoot in a four-way burst. Yeah, if we got Spoonbender, <laughs> the only way this would just get like unbelievably nuts is if we got Spoonbender. I'm gonna laugh so hard. I wouldn't even I I I, I wouldn't even be surprised in the slightest if Spoonbender dropped. If we got Spoonbender, that would just take this to like unbelievable levels of hilarity. What's up, Gish? Goodbye, Gish. Who's next? That's it. Question. Okay, so we unlocked a new item because now in the top left we have the star with a red eye, uh, outline. That's boss rush. Then we get camo shorts, which is like makes you invisible or something in certain rooms. God, we almost missed that shit. We have ten minutes to get. We have eight minutes to get down to hush. Damn it. We got to be rushing. Oh man, what's our route here? Holy crap, this is insane. Uh, what's our route here? Uh, sorry, I, I, we gotta be rushing for this. I, sorry I'm not talking to chat as usual. I, I've noticed with Isaac runs, I, like it's... It's usually timed. Okay, what's our route? I think... We gotta go for Delirium, because that's the hardest thing. So we might end up missing Mega Satan, but whatever. So we gotta get down to the next two bosses within eight minutes. We'll fight Hush, then we'll go to the Void, and we'll fight um, Delirium, which is the hardest thing to do. Uh, and we're probably, we'll probably miss Mega Satan, but that's three completion marks in one run, and I am very happy with that. So we got, we're kind of on a time limit here. Uh, Devil Door is still open, and it's Krampus. That's very good. That's very good. Lump of Coal. Yes, dude. And a free bomb there to, yes. Okay, what's up? Nope. What's this? Strength? Uh, yes. Okay, then Lump of Coal is gonna increase our damage further. There's a black heart there. Okay, time to speed run. We gotta go fast, like Sanic. Like Sanic taught us. Okay, we got to do these two floors in like seven minutes. Let's do it. Just rush, rush, rush around. Luckily, we have the damage to like fully clear a room in like five seconds. Okay, we're looking for the boss room. Which will show up as like a little skull in the top right. That's not what we want. Let's grab this so it doesn't respawn. Terrible item just summons bombs everywhere. Um, do you want to go down to the... No, I don't want to go down there. Okay, let's go up here. Whew, good night. <laughs> that thing splits into like a hundred different things. Oh, come on, man. 
Cancer? I think we want the black lipstick more. Yeah, Cancer increases your fire rate. It's a really good trinket, one of the best. But black lipstick is really good on our current build. I got to say. Sacrifice room, no thanks. Okay, unfortunately it looks like we're like full clearing, which is what you do not want in these two floors. There's no item rooms or anything. You want to get to the boss as fast as possible? Typically, there are things that make item rooms spawn. Blank rune's going to be a random rune, and it's Ansa, so it shows us where everything is. Okay, our boss is right over there, plus there's a secret room. Do we want to open it up? We don't have too many bombs. So let's save our bombs. Okay, this boss is about to get melted. Triacted, more like triac did and done. Uh, I got nothing. Just trying to go fast. Good night. What do you got? Jesus juice? Damage and range up. Yes, please. One damage. More damage. This is 10 out of 10 run. All the stuff that we want. Okay, we got about five and a half minutes to get down to the final boss here, and then we can face Hush. You guys are going to see, like, the end game bosses. I don't think... Did, have we done Delirium on stream before? I don't think we did, did we? So you guys are going to see, like, the end of the end game if you don't know anything about this game. So if you don't want to see that, by the way, if you want to play this game yourself, don't watch, I guess. Or watch if you want to see it. Up to you. And we should be good. We have max health. We have, like, max build. I mean, if I die to Delirium, I need to never play Isaac again on stream. Because that's just sad. Capital S sad. Okay, hopefully this is where our boss room is. Yep. We picked correctly. No, no, no. Thank you. It lives. More like it dies. <laughs> right? I said it dies. I did the joke. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, let's check out the devil room first. Spirit of the Night's Trash gives you flight and spectral tears. We don't need that. Going down to the hush you, to get to the blue womb, which is where we're going down. Now you have to beat that boss in under 30 minutes. So we have five minutes to spare. Not bad. And you spawn here with like four chests, which are just random. Two items are... <laughs> Three items. Okay, we're going to keep those there in case we get the D6 somehow to re-roll it. I should have used dad's key there, but whatever. Um, this will increase our fire rate. I want this. Even though it's going to decrease our damage. But that's fine. We got damage in spades. What do we have here? Both of these are absolute trash. Let's go down into the shop. What do we got? Uh, let's just donate the rest. I don't know if don't, putting all this in does anything. Spoonbender gives you telekinetic. Uh, it makes all your shots like auto-track enemies. It's insane. Uh, let's take this little spewer. Um, I want this, and I want this, and I don't want that. That item can fuck you over hardcore. All right. Let's do hush. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay, this is a two-phase fight. Got to go for the little guy in the middle. Now, here's the big boy. I think we have seen hush, right? Haven't we seen hush on stream? I'm not sure. Either way, this is kind of like the second big boss. This is like the second to last hardest boss. Okay, we don't want to lose too much HP. We need all of our HP for the next... For the next war, which is going to be by far the hardest. Come on, man. Guy's got 5,000 HP. The next boss we got to take down has double that. 10,000. It's not a question of whether or not, whether or not we're going to beat. It's a question of how much HP do I save. Good night, Hush. 
Fate's Reward. Okay, that's our next unlock. And we're gonna go, I really, man, if we went down one of these, if we went up the to the cathedral, beat Isaac, we would be able to beat Mega Satan. And there's a chance that the void would spawn. We could do all the rest of the completion marks, but I'm gonna take the sure thing. If you beat Hush, there's a room up here that goes to the void right there. That little portal will have a chance of spawning every boss, but it's not guaranteed. So we could, in theory, get everything done, but I'm gonna take the sure thing and go down to uh, the void. Now this is the big, yeah, we have done this, haven't we? But I think we died. I don't think we actually beat, I don't think we actually beat uh, Delirium. So you guys are gonna see me beat Delirium this time, that's for sure. Hopefully, hopefully. It's not a sure thing, Delirium is bullshit. There's so much garbage everywhere. So we're just gonna speed run the void. It's the biggest floor by, it's the biggest floor by far. There's so much shit going on. We got the Curse of Darkness too, which is really disgusting on this floor because it's the biggest floor. You don't want it, and like we can't see anything. Like I said, I hate the curses. Just take them out, man. Just take them out. They're, they're more of a nuisance than a challenge. They're just not fun to deal with. That's my opinion. You might love the challenge. You might love the, the whatever it's called. The, um, don't do that. Okay. That was silly. Okay, so on the void, there's like a million different bosses, um, and any of them can be the, the, any of them can be, um, delirium, but you can tell based on the boss room size, so this could be it, I think. I'm not sure, I'm not good at spotting if it can be or not, but let's see. Death, okay. We, we would rather fight normal bosses first, because you get an item, Mom's eyeshadow is going to charm enemies. Do not run. Yeah, I remember there's spikes all over this this particular room. So there's like five or six. Oh, we want to go more to the top right. Yeah! Okay, let's go up here. Okay, there's another boss. See, could this this could definitely be delirium. Is it delirium? The frail. Okay. Sack dag! Yes, please. Gives you like it blocks shots around you. And also deals contact damage. But the bigger thing that we want it for is blocking shots. Yes, please. Um, no. I still want Eve's lipstick. That's a very good item to get. Very good trinket to have on this character. Okay, let's go north. How did I even get hit? Come on, man. Okay, we gotta save all of our... We gotta save all of our HP as much as possible. No! Fuck's sake! Oh, God. Okay, stop. Stop. Delirium is so bullshit. You have to you have to have all your HP. I've already gotten hit three times. That is not good. Not good. But we do have strength, which is gonna give us an HP. Okay. I need to stop rushing around like crazy. I can't see shit because of the stupid curse of darkness. Okay, there's another boss. I think this could also be delirium? The cage. Bomb bag, pretty useless. Uh, I need to be blowing up these skulls is what I need to be doing. Because we have a higher chance to get black hearts out of everything. Okay, we need strength, not ace of clubs. Mama Gertie. Fear shot, that's okay. It's gonna make like delirium like go away from us rather than go closer to us. Okay, see, there's like five or six normal bosses on this floor, and then there's like the final, 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 final boss. But I need kind of HP now. I'm gonna kick the bomb over there. I need HP bad. I'm kind of. I lost a lot. I lost too much HP already. Delirium is really, really, really annoying with how much crazy shit he does. Okay. Okay, again, we need to blow up the black skulls and hope that they drop a black heart. Shit, we're getting pretty unlucky. We have a damn trinket that increases the chance of getting black hearts, and we're not getting black hearts. Can you mod the curses out? Uh, that this is nah, cause I'm going. You know, then I wouldn't consider it a legit run. You probably can, but you know, you just kind of have to deal with it. There's an item called the black candle. 
that makes it makes it so that you can't have any um store credit. Makes it so that you can't. There's an item called the black candle that makes it so you can't get curses anymore. Uh, that's the way to get rid of them. Um, they're just, like I said, they're just tedious. They're not fun. I don't like doing them. What's up, Arashi no Odorico? The rainbow poop restores your black uh, red hearts up to full. No, we're gonna start Skyrim after this run. Uh, this can't be delirium. Yeah, brownie. Okay. The mark. That's pretty darn good. That gives us a soul heart and damage. And we got Leviathan. So okay, the run's done. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, so we got a transformation that gives us like a bunch of HP. So we are good to go. Okay, don't be too cocky. We could still lose, but that that should that should that should solidify. I can't talk. I'm like so hyped up right now. Too much energy. God damn it! Stop taking stupid damage. Ugh, kick that away. No, thank you. Total pasta! Oh, shit! Ooh, that's good timing, total pasta. A tinted Rocco. Nice eye. Nice eye, Robco. Total pasta! What is up? That is awesome timing. Hello, hello, hello. Stream has been crazy. Stream has been crazy. We just got started. We've been streaming for about an hour, and we're doing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, and we're about to end an insane run. Like, literally an insane run. Um, and you guys are about to catch the very end of it, which I'm excited about, because this, this run has been nuts. Absolute nuts. But if you know anything about Isaac, this run is insane. We, I mean, just look at that. Like, this run is so crazy, man. <laughs> I can't even... It's, it's nuts. We're on the final floor of the hardest boss, and we should be able to beat it. Um, in fact, I kind of want to, like, full clear now just to show you how crazy our build is. I'll try to explain, like, what it is. Uh, how was your stream, by the way, Total Pass? How was the rest of your stream? Genuinely means a lot. I have mad respect uh, and love for you in the community. Hell yeah, I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I, trust me, I, I'm not just saying that. I, I want you to know because, like... I only watch and I only raid people that I genuinely, you know, enjoy watching, and you're one of those people, and that's why, because, you know, I think, I genuinely think people watch your stream and feel better, and that's what I try to go for, for better or for worse. Like I said, for some people like you, it's very natural and easy. For me, it's much more of a challenge to, uh, keep that in mind, like, what, what that goal is for me. Sometimes I get too much into the game, sometimes I get too much into, like, you know, I don't know, worrying about other stuff that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, like, you know, views and metrics and whatever. Um, but no, you've got, you've got a very good, like, persona about you. you got a, a very good streaming, you know, and, t and presence is what I'm trying to say, so. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, but anyways, welcome in, everybody. Uh, we're going to finish this Crazy Isaac run, and then do some Skyrim, and then do some Fable. But yeah, how was the rest of your stream, Total Pass? Was it good? Was it fun? Was it awesome? Uh, let's do this boss. Shouldn't be Delirium. Skolex? Oh my god. Skolex, dude. <laughs> it ain't happening, pal. Prayer card's gonna give us a, uh, I guess we should stick with the prayer card, huh? Dad's key's not gonna really be necessary anymore. Prayer card's gonna give us HP up every time we use it. Uh, if we use it twice, we get a full heart. So let's try to get one more charge. We're going to full clear the void because we're so goddamn strong. This is like a 10 out of 10 run. I know if anybody doesn't know anything about Isaac, you're coming into the stream going, what the hell is happening in front of you? I understand that totally. <laughs> Isaac is a uh, very hard game to explain <laughs> if you're like totally brand new. But all you got to know is that it's a roguelike, meaning um, it changes like every run that you do is like totally random. And if you die, it's like permadeath. You got to restart the run. And this is a 10 out of 10 run. We've gotten the best items, the craziest damage. It has just been unbelievably lucky. So. Okay, we're going to use the prayer card again. It's going to give you an HP. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, we're going to full clear the void, which should go pretty fast. Even though this is by far the biggest floor in the entire game. There's shit going on everywhere. But we're almost done. And I think I know which boss is Delirium, our final, final, final boss. But yeah, we basically insta-clear out a room. 
I think we're coming to the end here. Stupid curse of darkness, man. I can't see anything. Yeah, if you're wondering why the screen is so dark, is because we're playing on hard mode where you'll get curses. And we have a curse where, like, everything is darker. And, uh, you know, I've already said how much I hate these curses. I don't think they add to the game in any way. They just take away from the game. But they've always been a part of Isaac, I think, even in the Flash version, right? We're going to use the prayer card again to get half of an HP up. If we can clear six more rooms, we'll be able to use it again and get one HP off of max HP, which is fine because we have the stretch. Won't even hit me, man. You just don't know when it's the Curse of Darkness. Stream is hella fun. This game looks neat. Yeah, I'll try to describe it as we're full clearing here. This is a this is a roguelike, uh, which if, if anybody's unfamiliar with, basically means every time you start a new run, it's totally random. Like what items you get, what different stuff you get, yada, yada, yada. And if you die, the run's over and then you have to restart. Uh, and typically, roguelikes are very challenging because you want to get a good combo of items to be, like, super-duper strong. Uh, and that's, yeah, we, we've got, like I said, we got, like, a 10 out of 10 run. The hero fin, I was going to say, that's going to be the hero fin, isn't it? Yep, it's going to give us more HP. <laughs> Why not, dude? Why not? I, I knew that was going to be the hero fin. Since this is a 10 out of 10 run, we're going to use our eternal heart, <laughs> and there we are, maxed out on HP. Okay, we got two boss. That's the whole thing full cleared. We got two bosses. I think that that's definitely Delirium down there for sure. Yeah, that's Delirium down there. So we're going to go clear that last boss on the very top right. And then we will finish the run. Oh, yeah, it's a roguelike. It's randomized. It's procedurally generated. Uh, every time you start a run, it's like different random floors and different random enemies and rooms. Different items that you pick up. Some are absolute garbage. Some are pretty good. Um, you want the good stuff, obviously, and then if you take a look at the start... Oh, there's the Tinted Rock Robco is talking about. Uh, useless, but if it dropped the small rock, we'd get a little bit of damage, which would be nice. Okay, who are you? No! Delirium! Shit! Alright. I, I thought the guy down there was gonna be Delirium. Whatever. This is the final boss of the entire game. This is the, this is the end game guy. He has 10,000 HP. We should be able to do it. We're gonna pop the Strength card, get a bit of damage, and destroy him. So Delirium tell, uh, transforms into any bosses you've seen in the game. And it's just crazy. I don't like this fight at all because it's just too hectic. You have no idea what's happening. Like if anybody here is new to Isaac, you explain to me what's happening right now. You can't. There's no way that you can. You have no idea. <laughs> and neither do I. Neither do I. Because he just teleports into every random boss. He'll telefrag you and just hit you. And it's just bullshit. This boss sucks. But he's the last boss. He's got 10,000 HP. Double Hush's HP. The most HP in the game. But we are a 10 out of 10 build right now. We have not even taken damage yet. Which on, the, which on Delirium is insane. I would love to beat this guy without taking any damage. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be very hard. But we have the build to do it. Look at all the freaking tears everywhere, man. Oh my god, dude. Let's beat Delirium without taking damage. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just gonna be launching shit all over the place. Stop! Telefragged. If you don't know what telefragging means, it's basically when something spawns on top of you and there's like no way to avoid it. That's why this boss is so stupid, but whatever. I wanted to beat him without taking damage. I don't even know if that's a challenge or anything. Good night, bitch. Really silly how we got Telefrag there. We could have beaten that entire thing without taking any damage, but we got Telefragged at the last second. GG. Yep, it's over. But we're going to go clean that last boss out because I said I wanted a full clear. And there's one boss hanging out. I really thought that was going to be Delirium. You can tell by the room layout, but sometimes it's hard, harder to tell. Basically, it needs to have like room for that giant room around it. That's how you tell if it's Delirium or not. So both of those rooms could have been. Like, this could be as well. Although I'm not good at telling if it is or not. Good night. Book of Sin? No thanks. Okay. GG. A different room had a tinted rock. Okay, well, we were full up on HP, so there was nothing we could get. Unless it was the small rock, which... 
at this point, <laughs> it doesn't matter what we pick up. We could pick up the best item in the game and it, it wouldn't matter. We're like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 overpowered. Okay, let's go grab that chest and be done with it. What? Wrong one. In we go. Boop! Oh, God. That was free. What do we unlock? King Baby. I think King Baby just follows you, right? It's like the front. It goes to the front of the baby train. The babies that follow you. Okay, that was an amazing run. 10 out of 10. Uh, so now again, Isaac done. Magdalene done. Kane done. Judas done. Blue Baby, all we got to do is Mega Satan. All we got to beat is Mega Satan. We're done. Even Samson got to beat Mega Satan and Delirium, who we just beat. Uh, Azazel done. Lazarus done. Eden done. Lost done. Lilith got to beat a whole bunch of shit, but I don't like this character. It's not, a, but not about her being hard. I just don't like playing her, so we'll, saw, we'll save her for last. Keeper done. Apollyon done and Forgotten done. So we're coming to the end of it. We're coming to the end. All the challenges. Done. 